All right. Um, this method is called temper resist. In my opinion, it is one of the only actual useful um, ways to use temper paint. Um, you probably painted with temper last when you were like seven, but I bought like professional grade tempera uh, for this project because you can get some really cool um, kind of impressionistic, stylistic uh, outputs of, of this method. So what I've done here, I've used temper paint. And again, if you want to do this method, you need to make sure you ask me for temper paint. Don't use acrylic paint or else nothing will work. And I've used thick watercolor paper. You can also use construction paper if you want a colored base, but it gets a little bit wrinklier. Um, what I've done here is drawn out the same picture that you had seen on my phone for the last demos. Um, and I wanted to, I purposely included or left some of the paper showing in some areas. So I kind of have to think ahead. And all of these areas that are white right now will show up black because I'm going to coat this with a layer of India ink and then wash it off. The India ink will stick um, for sure to the areas without any paint on them and it will also stick to some of the areas with paint. You also, if you do this, need to make sure that you have um, three layers of temper paint everywhere. I ran a little bit of short on times, so it'll be interesting to see if mine turns out as good as yours will when you add three layers. You can blend colors and mix colors um, just like you do in any other painting, but you want to leave these stylistic outlines or these contour lines um, you want to leave the paper showing through there because they will turn out black. Does anybody have questions? Okay. Yeah. I have some India ink here and I've added a little bit of dish soap. We need the dish soap uh, if you ever do this at home um, or if you want to recreate it. You, th if you forget to add dish soap, it won't turn out because uh, it just helps the ink release off of um, the painted parts. So this is kind of the scary part just going to paint my whole picture black with one layer of ooh with one layer of india ink and i'm going to let it sit for a little while hopefully i didn't make it too soapy this is the most excitement most excitement you've had all day isn't it <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're just going to let this dry. You're actually going to sit and watch paint dry um, during. Yay! What you've always wanted to do. Um, <laughs> during. Who knew fifth hour is going to be so exciting? All right. So we're going to wait. You guys are being so good. You can, um, no, like, uh, one more minute. Oh. Not very long, um, so don't worry. But you can start to see um, some of the texture show up. That is a sign of it drying. So we don't want to wait until this India ink has, like, completely dried everywhere. We don't want that. We want to wait until it's, like, I don't know, like, five-sixths dry. So probably about another minute. Um, it will start to wrinkle up. That's fine. Once this piece dries, it might be one that you have to set in between like the pages of a really heavy book, um, or we can iron it on a really low heat with um, newspaper on either side. So don't let the, the warping deter you because these do turn out really well. If anybody is thinking about taking AP art, these score really well in the breadth section um, just because they're kind of unique. You don't see them every day. So um, if you're AP bound, maybe try this out if you haven't already. All right, so this is the moment of truth. Sometimes these turn out, sometimes they don't. We're just going to see. I want this to dry a little bit more, but I also don't want to bore you. Um, can somebody grab me a clean sponge? That's one thing I forgot. Or a cleanish sponge. Thanks, Brian. So what I have here is just a bath of water. And I, Evan, can you grab me that Kemp's thing? That's fine. The big one's fine. Thank you. I also have a bucket of water here. Um, so I want a clean, like, smallish bucket of water, and I want water um, in a tub that is large enough to fit my piece. So 
What I'm going to do is submerge this in water and then just let the ink start running off of it. Thank you, Brian. <coughs> and what hopefully will happen uh, is that the India ink will release itself from areas uh, that already had paint on it and it will stay on um, the other parts. Oh my gosh. And it didn't work. That is so cool, Miss White. Wow. You're so good at this. Yay! <laughs> Give me a round of applause. I know you want to. Um, so it kind of created... It, it's supposed to stay in the white. Um, I'll remake a video of this for those lucky people that weren't here um, during today. But uh, what you see here is supposed to happen. It's supposed to kind of look weathered if you didn't like that. Um, you can, oops, sorry, Evan. You can brush this off gently with your finger. You're supposed to let it dry a little bit longer, and um, I could have used like a more porous um, paper. So I'll just have you use like thick cardstock, and it will work. Um, but imagine these lines to be white, and then imagine kind of a weathered, a weathered look. It's kind of like German impressionism is what it's supposed to mimic. Um, and if nobody chooses this one, I completely realize that it's my fault because my demo messed up. But, like I said, combination of letting it be there a little bit longer and then using um, colored construction paper or cardstock, and it'll work just fine. I can show you some examples of finished ones of these, too. I'll have them out. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, so just to...